When you purchase your NPC Live or NPC X, you get a code giving you three months of Splice for free. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get set up with Splice and go ahead and sync Splice into your NPC Live. And this process is going to be the same for the NPC X. Now, if you look at the screen here, you need to get a login code to activate your NPC into Splice. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to set up your login with Splice.com first, and then we'll come back to this. All right, so when you go to splice.com, the first thing you're gonna see, it says sign up for free on the front page. Click that, and then you create your username, you put your name in, your email and password, and you sign up. So after you sign in, I do wanna show you this. So this is where you put your code in that you got when you registered your NPC Live or your NPC X. And you need to do this before you subscribe to Splice. Now, if you try to go back and do this afterwards, you're gonna you know, get some headaches. You're gonna be like, why am I only getting 14 days for free? And then you're going to need to contact Splice, you know, and try to get them to sign you up for the free months with the code. Avoid the headaches. Just do it beforehand. Put the promo code in right here. You can see promo code right there. Now, this is an old account, so I would have to resubscribe. Um, but I just wanted to show you that, you know, if you're new, it's going to say subscribe right here. Once you sign up for your account, go ahead and put your username and password in and then go ahead and log in. Okay, so once you're logged in, you could go through the sounds, pick the ones you want or what have you. But that's not what I want to show you right now. What I want to show you now is how to set up your NPC Live to actually interact with Splice. So all the sounds that you select on Splice.com can sync automatically to your NPC Live. Now before you try to get your login code, make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi. Tap the Wi-Fi option. Okay, make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. It's going to show me my Wi-Fi options and then select whatever one. Now I'm already on Wi-Fi, but basically all you do is select your network and put your password in and push connect and you'll connect. So once you're connected there, go over to splice, tap get login code. So after you press get login code, it says splice login to link your device to splice, visit splice.com slash link. Okay. And then after you go there, enter this code. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So splice.com link. Okay. It says enter the code. This is where you're going to enter it. So after you enter, it says your device is now connected to splice. You are connected as M Scratton two, which is my username. So at this point, splice is now actually connected to your NPC live or your NPC X. Right, so now that you're logged in, you need to select where you want your files to go. So you can change that here. I do not recommend doing the internal drive. Now you'll see I have set up an SD card here. The NPC01 is actually my SD card. Underneath that I have my SSD01, which is my SSD. So I'm going to select that one because I actually have 500 gigabytes on that. So once I have that selected, what I'm gonna do is tap, you know, check for update. It's gonna tell me how many files are available to sync and then you can sync it. Now, once it's complete, it's going to tell you your downloads from Splice has completed. Number of samples downloaded, 38. Press OK. Be forewarned when you sync your files, what it's doing is actually syncing all your Splice files. So make sure you have enough room to contain everything on your drive. Also, I do want to say you're not actually going through and selecting stuff on Splice. This is just syncing the files that you've already selected. So what you need to do is download the app on your phone or go to Splice.com on your computer and then select the files that you want that way. And then once you selected all your files on splice.com, you can check for your updates to see if you have any updates. And if you do, you sync them or, you know, just push sync files. Now I do want to show you how this shows up inside your browser. So right here, splice. Okay. So when you tap that, you have all your samples by BPM, by instrument, by key, by pack, by tag. So you can go through like, for example, if I want to do by BPM, I could tap that. I have all the different BPMs right there. And if I wanted to do 195 BPM, I tap in there and then I can get all the samples that have that BPM by instrument right there. These are all the instruments that I have. Okay. And then, you know, by key. So if I wanted to do a song in the key of D, for example, I would just pick that all these are in the key of D. So as long as I didn't pitch shift anything, I would be in the proper key. Okay. And then you got by pack. Okay. So these are all the different packs I'm pulling from. 
Okay, and that's the good thing about Slice is you could only select the files that you want or you can only select the sounds that you want so you don't have to download the entire pack. So say that you have 100 credits and one pack is 100 sounds, you know, you can choose to get just that one pack or you could select maybe just three sounds from that pack and then go to different packs, select another three sounds from a different pack, you know, however many you want from each pack and download them. So that's why there's a bunch of different packs on here. But if you click into one of them, like this Dirty Drums, um, let's see, it looks like there's only one file in there. Uh, there's a few files in there. Okay, so just so you can see, like if I do this G house, there's only one file in that pack that I downloaded. So, so there you go. And then you can do by tag, you know, 808s, 909s, acoustic, you know, it just has a bunch of different tags. Or you can browse all the different samples right there on top. So these are all the different samples that I have. So there you go. That's how you set up your membership for splice.com and go ahead and sync splice.com to your MPC. If you found this video valuable, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos about the MPC Live, go ahead, click or tap the screen over here. It's going to take you to a playlist about the MPC Live. I appreciate you watching. Continue creating music and we'll talk soon.